When we think about video, it certainly can be used as an evaluation tool, but in our perspective, it's more seen as a teacher growth and development tool. And because it is, it does have that distinction as being something where teachers are identifying their own strengths, their own areas of improvement, there's this incredibly high level of buy-in where teachers feel committed and compelled to participate in it. When you have that happening, people are going to do better in an evaluative sense, but really we're using video as a tool and the teachers using video as a tool to move their instruction forward so that they can make a greater impact on students. Video captures reality. So as you're trying to move your practice, reality is changing because your, your actual practice is changing. And so it's a tool that no matter what point you're at in your professional development, there's always an area of growth to come up, but it's actually positioning it in a way and as a tool providing you the opportunity to actually see that. Teachers in classrooms are making literally hundreds and thousands of decisions every single class period. So when you're sitting there thinking about how do I move my instruction forward, A, nobody remembers things exactly as they happen. B, you're really not going to remember everything that happened if you were making a thousand decisions in 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's providing you that opportunity to actually step back, not have to worry about decisions, not have to worry about classroom management, not have to worry about the question you're going to ask a student, and just really dig into what your practice is.